Okay, so on the outside looking in, it seems like the Mummy remake is typical Hollywood pointless remake babble. The film was part of Universal's monster universe that started with the harmlessly useless Dracula Untold back in 2014, as we are sure to be treated to new age reimaginings of these characters that remain fairly static throughout their lengthy histories. The Mummy, however, has the added incentive of an actor short in stature, but big in drawing power. Tom Cruise. Yes, that's right. Ta that Tom Cruise is set to star in this remake. The relevant story to this week is that about actress Annabelle Wallace jumping to the project, but no, Tom Cruise is crazy, this story is crazy, and yet the movie still probably be useless when it rises from franchise death in June of 2017. Help me help you. Help me, help you, help me, help you. Parker, bring our number four news story. Because our number four news story is about none other than J.K. Simmons. Simmons has had his fair share of roles for quite some time now, most recently noted for his villainy role in Kung Fu Panda 3, his Oscar win first performance in Whiplash, and of course, his role as J. Jonah Jameson in Spider-Man. Well, it looks like he'll be switching comic book universes, as he has just been cast as the next Commissioner Gordon for the live-action Justice League. There are a long list of great Commissioner Gordons, most recently being Gary Oldman. We here at the Middle Seats will be looking forward to seeing Simmons' name added to that list when Julie Justice League swoops into the theaters in 2017. Oh, the dangers of the media knows no bounds. And in this story, we see how downright nasty it can be sometimes. First, the positives of the story that is indeed worth celebrating. Back in 2008, Larry Wachowski, half of the sibling duo who created the Matrix franchise, underwent a procedure to become Lana Wachowski. This week, we learn the second half of the sibling combo, formerly Andy Wachowski, has undergone a procedure to become Lily Wachowski, which is, of course, brave and strong of her. So what's the problem? Well, Lily's hand was forced when a reporter from a tabloid paper at the Daily Mail threatened to out her as transgender before she was ready. Why? Because it would be a good story. What? Pardon my French, but you're an asshole! The story will bring back 2014's Sony Hack, which goes underrated as far as comedic purposes go, if you ask me. But it's been established that a franchise crossover between the Jump Street characters and Men in Black was an idea being shot around. Well, now that idea is looking pretty likely, when Channing Tatum and Jonah Hill will reprise their roles as Jenko and Schmidt, and they'll be producing, they've landed a director in James Bobbin, and would like to begin filming in June. No word on who will play agents J and K yet, because the studio didn't want Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones back. Their search for younger and newer faces to appeal to this generation is likely looking to match the younger Hill and Tatum, even though Ice Cube thinks they look about 50. But casting for those roles should begin shortly as well. No release date is set, as they are still in pre-production. But the simple fact that they are even in pre-production for this film is really exciting. Why can't you just use your head for once? Oh, you want me to use my head? Yeah. Fine. Oh yeah, what's up now, motherfuckers? You remember me? I'm your best nightmare. I'm your worst nightmare. The top story tonight is another edition of Trailer Talk. The summer 2016 movie season is fast approaching, and we're starting to get a clearer and clearer picture of how it will shape up. We got three big look f looks at films that are premiering from May to July. In ascending order of significance, let's first take a look at the trailer for the Lonely Island's first feature-length film, excuse me, the docu-parody pop star Never Stop Never Stopping. <laughs> Connor for real is actually saving the record industry. Connor's hot. You tell me you didn't see him and say, yo, he's the star. This guy right here, he's gonna make it big. It's Connor. I've got it all, and I'm getting more. Adam Levine's hologram, so expensive. Connor currently has 32 people on his personal payroll. Sure, Connor surrounds himself with people who are agreeable. Oh! Pop star Never Stop Never Stopping will sing straight into your heart on June 3rd. That film will hopefully have the makings of a comedy classic. This next trailer is our first look at a remake of a comedy classic, Paul Feige's Ghostbusters. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh. Did you want to? Sorry. sorry. I'll let you. I'll let you. Next time. Okay. Someone is creating a device that amplifies paranormal activity. And we might be the only ones who can stop it. Holtzman, come on! Is the hat is too much, right? Is it the wig or the hat? There's 
bigger picture at hand here. These ghosts can possess the human form. That's Kristen Wiig, Melissa McCarthy, Kate McKinnon, and Leslie Jones as the new ghost fighting team. Ghostbusters wants you to call up to the theater to see if it's sold out when it arrives on July 15th. Speaking of a movie that will certainly sell out a lot of theaters, if you weren't excited for Captain America's Civil War yet, check this out. I was wrong about you. The whole world was wrong about you. They're coming for you. I'm not the one that needs to watch their back. This doesn't have to end in a fight, Tony. You just started a war. Stay down. Final warning. I could do this all day. All right, I've run out of patience. On to Roos! Hey, everyone. And there it is, folks. Your first look is Tom Holland as the new Peter Parker, as fans around the world know him as Spider-Man. Civil War, May 6th. Tickets are on sale now.